Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have an Asda food haul to share with you. That doesn't feel like there's massive amount of stuff here, um, but I, I bought a lot of protein, like meat and things, and obviously that is probably the most expensive thing we buy. Um, yeah, there's no meat coming from the freezer this week, so I think that's where the cost has come through pretty much from um before returns this was 98 quid um i had nine substitutions one item uh not available without a suitable substitution i sent one thing back uh the thing i sent back was i ordered some whole milk or blue milk in, and they substituted it for green milk or no red milk sorry this, this is for skimmed um and it's for Reuben, and obviously he's a toddler, he needs whole cow's milk. Um, so I sent that back because John and I won't drink it. I have my tea black and our coffee is done through a machine where there's milk already in it. Um, so yeah, that went back. Everything else I kept, um, yeah. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. Um, I have a new jumper on, I freaking love it. Kind of reminds me of a flag because of that but it's so snuggly um and you know a jumper is, is is better than putting the heating on i suppose isn't it but yeah uh let's jump into the shopping there we go as i said doesn't look like a whole lot for the money but this is the expensive part isn't it the meat um, but yeah, we'll start over at this end. Um, so four of the nine substitutions. I ordered Diet Pepsi. They've sent me Pepsi Max. This doesn't bother me. And it will get used. But say John has a preference of... He'd rather have Diet Pepsi or Coke Zero. Um, but you know. It is what it is. It's fine. Um, we've got curry. The chicken tikka. For Sherwoods, really like that one. And then we've got some cranberry sauce, mushy peas, some Heinz baked beans, some apple sauce. Oh, this one was a substitution. This is the Nando's Pyrenees. Um, I ordered just the standard Piri Piri mayonnaise, and they've sent me the garlic Piri Piri mayonnaise. I think it's going to be absolutely lovely, not a problem. Uh, we have the Home Pride Sausage Casserole Oven Bake. Um, we've got some Little Angel Nappy Bags. Not something we use that often because of the system we use at home. Um, but Ruben has started a new nursery. Um, yeah, big step for us. Uh, and they require, they require nappy bags, so uh, we've bought them. Um, and then I got some Little Angels Detangle Spray. I tend to use the Johnson one, but they didn't have any available um, on the website. So I thought I'd give this a go. Um, <laughs> uh, you may or may not know. Uh, it uh, <laughs> This makes me smile so much. Uh, Christmas decorations for Ruben's bedroom are going to be dinosaur themed this year. And, um, yeah, I saw this little bejeweled fellow and, uh, couldn't leave him behind. I honestly thought he was going to be substituted because this is the kind of thing that normally is because it is all a bit niche. Um, but yeah, they delivered him so he can join all the other dinosaurs sparkly dinosaurs that i've ordered for ruben's room for december um i got ruben this little dino cutlery set um we have a set very similar to this that i think we got from tk maxx we call it his big boy cutlery um but it's always good to have a spare um one that can kind of one living in the like the drawer at home and one to live in his bag um just makes things a bit easier when we're going out and about but yeah Got that for Reuben. Snacks for Mr. Reuben. We got some of the Little Steps popcorn puffs. Technically, these are from 12 months old. So uh, Reuben is two, but he really likes them in banana flavour. Banana is a thing at the moment. It's Reuben's current obsession. Um, 
we got some of the organic gingerbread men. There are two bags of jacket potatoes. We have some poppadoms for curry night. Um, we have a creamy mash and then we also have a sweet potato mash. Tuck biscuits for Mr. Reuben and some little gem lettuce. Um, Gilly, bear with me, Gilly is scratching to go out. Sorry, Gilly needed to go in the garden. Um, obviously I'm going to have to stop again now in a minute to let him back in. Uh, we have pombears for Mr. Reuben and then ready salted crisps uh, for, for me. We normally buy the cheap yellow ones but they didn't have any in stock so we've got the red ones. Um, these were a, a substitution. I ordered bagel thins. They sent me bagel thins but I don't think I ordered Warburton's. I think I ordered something different. Uh, blueberries, cheese strings, onion bhajis, from our fry yogurts, apples, cherry tomatoes, <gasps> love this stuff, a little bit gutted, um, toffee nut latte, limited edition Starbucks thingies for our machine. The reason why I'm a little bit gutted is I tried to order these um, from Amazon and Amazon said there weren't any in stock and so I bought a box from our actual local Starbucks and then they're on offer in Asda and they were like half the price. Uh, so yeah, patience is a virtue. If I'd only waited a couple of days, I could have got them cheaper at Asda. But yeah, we got those. Um, some pretzels, some flatbreads, apple pies, bananas. As I said, Ruben is currently obsessed with them. Uh, it's his current favourite thing. Obviously, these things come in peaks and troughs and waves. But bananas are currently top of the pops for Reuben. Uh, we've got some Warburton rolls. Some, well, it's not Cathedral City. Some 50% uh, less fat mature cheddar. Uh, I ordered Monge too. They sent me sugar snap peas. It's absolutely fine. Um, I got some fine beans. And I have some halloumi. Um, sticking with the banana theme for Mr. Reuben. Some Soreen, the banana one. Um, we, I, I don't know if he'll like this. We've tried the normal soaring. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like the apple one. Oh no, he likes the apple one and he likes the gingerbread one. There was a strawberries and cream one done in the summer. He didn't like that. Um, but as we have currently have an obsession with banana, I thought we'd try the banana one for him. We have a cucumber and some red onion, onions and Gilly wants to come back in. Bear with me. Sorry. All dogs now settled. So yeah. Cucumber, red onion, some sandwich ham. Uh, then we've got some boneless chicken thighs for the pups. Um, some pork tenderloin steaks. And some lightly dusted bassa fillets. Uh, we've got some sausages. These are a substitution. Um, I ordered the, what do they call the thin ones? Chipolata sausages. They've substituted it for six Cumberland ones. That's absolutely fine. Um, some chicken Kievs, garlic and herb, um, breaded chicken goujons, two lots of chicken breasts. And the only frozen this week is some pigs in blankets. And then for the food bank, we have three packets of spaghetti, three packets of instant noodles, um, Two packets of stuffing. I thought I ordered three, but there's only two here. Um, one tin of sweet corn. I've got four of the long grain rice and then three cans of the rice pudding. The reason for the threes is because three is the maximum you can order of one product of the Just Essential. Like you online, you can't order four of these. Three of the Just Essentials range, three is the maximum you can do. Obviously, this isn't part of the Just Essentials range, so you can order as many as you want. Um, I'm not quite sure why. I'm, I'm relatively sure I did only order the one of the sweet corn, but I do think I ordered three of the stuffings. Um, but yeah, that is what we've got. And that is this week's food shopping. Um, meal plan for the week. Um, we are going to do... Obviously, the fish is just like fish, chips, mushy peas, 
um the pork i saw this thing on instagram where a lady um a lady <laughs> she um cooked the pork in the oven on a bed like there was a bed of apple and then she put the pork loin and then like made up her gravy and poured it over the raw mixture and then cooked it in the oven um so i'm gonna try that because it sounds weird now i've said it out loud but it looked good um we're gonna do jacket potato with kievs um the chicken one's going to be a chicken curry what is the other chicken for i'm having a mental blank um sausage casserole oh the other chicken uh on sunday it's love actually day which uh is the day that john and i will watch love actually um <laughs> Uh, basically the film love actually starts five weeks before christmas love actually hence so we watch it five weeks before christmas so we call it love actually day it is when we will be wearing our Chris our new christmas pajamas for the first time and i for tea that night the plan is to have um the warburton rolls and i'm going to do like chicken because turkey is not happening um so i'm gonna and I like have the chicken and the cranberry and stuffing and um pigs in blankets and do like chris a mini christmas roll dinner thing that's what the other chicken is for i think that was seven meals oh and the chicken nuggets are just going to be like chicken nuggets with some salad and the flatbread and the nando sauce so that's this week's meal plan um it's all rather chicken and pork based for a change with some weeks it seems like all we have is beef um but yeah just trying to somewhat mix things up slightly and also do things that we're trying really hard to kind of get Ruben in a position where he's eating what we're eating not every night because that doesn't it's not practical with our lifestyle but at least kind of like four times a week we all eat the same thing so like so like in the last few days um last night we had a jacket potato John and I had jacket potato with chilli. Reuben had um, jacket potato that I emptied and mashed up with the cheese and the butter. And he had it with um, some turkey dinosaurs and broccoli. So it's not the same, but it, on a similar thing. But chilli would be too spicy for him. Uh, I think it was Sunday we did bangers and mash with Yorkshire pudding. Reuben had the same thing. The other day we had chicken tikka curry which I honestly thought Ruben wouldn't eat, and he loved it, loved it. So it's just kind of doing things that are maybe not quite as spicy as we would, as some of the meals we would like. Um, beef does, unless it's in a pasty, does seem to be Ruben's least favourite meat. He is a little bit funny sometimes with meat. He can go a good couple of days where he just won't eat meat. Um... And we're not that fussed by it, you know, as long as he's eating enough, I'm okay with it. Um, but yeah, sometimes he's just a bit funny with the meat he has. So, or, you know, one day he will absolutely love sausages. And then the next day is like, I'm not eating sausages. They're disgusting. <laughs> you know what I mean? Kids, all kids do that, right? Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. Uh, put this shopping away. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're all, all okay. Um, take care guys, I'll talk to you in the next one.